this tutorial, we're looking at how to create and upload very detailed, high quality clothing items that have really high performance and can support hundreds of beautiful avatars in a scene with high frame rates, even on low end computers. If you're sick of 20 avatars equaling 10 frames per second, you've come to the right place. To follow this tutorial, you need to have installed Unity, imported the Space Editor Pack and registered as a Space Creator. The workflow for achieving really high detail, high performance avatars uses something called tessellation shaders. They're commonplace in AAA quality games these days. The tessellation shader adds infinitely smooth geometry to low poly models with no performance impact. You can see the smoothness in the amazing fabric folds on these pants. The shader can also add new detailed geometry. The laces and studs on these shoes are created by the shader taking data from a height map. My avatar looks like a million poly model, but all of this detail has virtually no performance impact in world. The underlying model for these shoes is less than 2000 polygons. Space offers its creators a free custom designed tessellation shader. You just add it to your clothing item before you upload it, adjust the settings as you want them, and suddenly your customers can wear amazing outfits and get amazing frame rates at the same time, even in crowded spaces. Applying tessellation shaders is really easy. Let's look at the workflow. This model was created using the standard game industry workflow. A low poly version is created first in Blender or Maya or something similar. Then a very high poly version is created, often in ZBrush, to provide all the details and smooth surfaces. This one is more than a million polygons in total. The normal maps are baked from the high poly model to the low poly model. And with these shoes, we've also created height maps, which the tessellation shader uses to generate the additional geometry on the laces and the studs. The result is a low poly model with maps and textures that can be assembled in Unity. When it's in Unity, assuming you're a space developer and you have the space editor pack installed, you can add our custom built clothing tessellation shader. It's as simple as this. I create a new material by right clicking in my project and going create new material. Then I change the shader from the standard Unity shader via this drop down box in the inspector. I come down to sine wave and then skin and then choose the unified clothing and skin metal and tessellate shader. I can add the maps and the main texture. I'm going to leave the main texture off this model because it's easier for you to see the wireframe. And this clothing item will be uploaded with separate patterns anyway. You can see how to do that in other tutorials. Here you can see the original mesh. Now I set the tessellation length, somewhere between 5 and 15. Suddenly. I'm looking at a mesh that is smoothed on all these folds, even as I zoom in on tiny areas of detail. Tessellation length defines the smallest triangle that will be created. Then I can adjust the fong strength to adjust the rounding of the new geometry. Now let's look at these shoes. I set the tessellation length and I can see the laces standing in profile, the rubber rim of the toe cap and the studs. These shoes might otherwise have needed 50,000 polygons. In space, they're just 2,000 polygons. For the studs and laces, you could use some basic geometry with the tessellation rounding and shaping the edges. But here, we've just used the shader and a height map automatically generated at the same time as the normal map. The great thing about all this detailed geometry is it has virtually no performance impact in world. My character now looks like the original multi-million ZBrush mesh, but it's actually only a few thousand triangles and I can have hundreds of avatars wearing clothes like these in world with everyone enjoying high frame rates between 30 and 100 frames per second. 
There are just a couple of other best practice methods we recommend. Firstly, excluding UV seams. Where your model has vertices that run along UV seams, please paint them red in your modeling tool. Fong tessellation can fail on UV seams where the vertices are not connected. This will create gaps in the mesh around the seam. The space tessellation shader has support for excluded zones. To exclude a vertice from tessellation, paint it red or 25500 in your modeling tool. This will tell the shader to avoid separating the mesh on this area. Secondly, as a general rule, we strongly recommend capping all of your clothing items, closing them off at the cuffs, the neck and the waistline. This works really well with our skin deletion algorithms that delete unseen surfaces when the object is worn. Our tessellation shader is single-sided, so you can't use the shader to mirror interior surfaces around the edges. So, use a standard game industry process to bake your maps from a high poly to a low poly model. Apply the tessellation shader Make sure the vertices at UV seams are painted red. Cap the ends of your model. Now you can follow our other tutorials to see how to upload this item as a virtual good so it's available for sale in the store. Your customers can zoom in on the amazing details on your high quality smooth clothing and they can experience high frame rates and amazing performance even in crowded regions. I hope this is a useful overview of how easy it is to deliver amazingly detailed smooth clothing that your customers can wear in a lag-free environment. If you do need any help, you can always reach out to the Space Developer community, either in-world or through our social media channels. You can also download all of the source files and the finished product files for this outfit on our wiki. Just search for Designing Detailed Clothing at wiki.sign.space. You'll also find links there to some excellent third-party tutorials that walk through the standard game industry processes for creating high-poly models and the normal maps and the height maps. <laughs>